earlier this week, I learned that I had a random four day weekend, Saturday through Tuesday. And I looked up flights because I've been missing home and missing my parents. And I booked a two full day, three day in total trip back home into LAX from Minneapolis. And right now it's six in the morning. I packed this morning. I really crammed it all in in a very short time period. Even though I'm only gonna be there for a couple of days, it's going to be jam packed. Right when I land, we're going straight to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. I'm going to the UCLA South Alabama football game. And then on Sunday, the Rams game, Falcons are in town. And interestingly enough, the former star um, receiver for USC, Drake London, is now with the Falcons. So that'll be cool to see. And then on Sunday night after the Rams game, I'm going golfing with both of my parents. And my mom says she's been golfing a lot. So I'm excited to see where her golf game is at because I have also been golfing a lot. I already know my dad's phenomenal at golf. I'm at Mama's in Los Alamitos for a Saturday night dinner and drinks with my two best friends. I got the steak tacos and a margarita. Even though I had to order um, <laughs> twice because they <laughs> they brought a oh, Bloody did. Mary that I ordered <laughs> and I didn't mean to order it. Yes. <laughs> Good. 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 Thank yeah. you. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Good. I got George's peach lemonade, spiked lemonade and the black <laughs> chicken sandwich <laughs> with garlic rice. What does blackened chicken mean? Um, it's just blackened on the, what, how the way that they cook it. <laughs> and there's um, bacon, avocado. Yeah. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah. And garlic aioli. It's important. Aioli. That's important. And I got a Moscow <laughs> mule. And a chicken inferno sandwich. Mmm. And we're all here for Allie's 25th birthday. Yes, ma'am. What are the emotions that go through your mind turning 25? Because I turned 25 in mm, two months. One month, two months. months. Yeah. And um, she said it's really intense of a <laughs> age to turn. It is very intense and I did not expect it. I truly feel like I have left all childhood behind <laughs> and like I'm an adult now and it's just such a new season of my life where I'm newly single living by myself in my own apartment really navigating what's next in my career and I'm just embracing adulthood and having a quarter life crisis so that's where I'm at <laughs> how did your 25 birthday how did that go for you? I had a great time. I was in New York with Vaughn. Oh. And we just explored New York again together. And so I had a great time. I love 25. 24 and 25 for me has been a good chapter. Mm -hmm. A lot of adulting and growing up for me. Like a yeah. lot. So they've been good chapters for me. Tough, but still good. I was about to say 24 yeah. has been really difficult and 23 for me. And I was telling Allie today that the first time I started to experience what it was going to be like to be 25 was today at the UCLA game. It was my first time going to a, a college game day experience and being like for sure older, like, like older than everyone tailgating. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. Yeah. Another thing? I've been feeling that kind of too. Like fun psychology fact. When you turn 25, 
your corpus callipsum closes in your brain and your brain is completely done developing. And so, yeah. So this is it. This is it. That's all you're gonna get. It's just as hard as you're lucky. gonna get. What you see is what you get. <laughs> so my high school changed so much since I've been gone. That building, oh my God. I have my Aaron Donald jersey, Allie's black Ray-Bans. I've never once worn biker shorts with a jersey, but it fits today. I have my mint green Nikes. It's my first Rams game since being a Rams fan when they moved to LA from St. Louis, and I'm so excited. Um, Dad, show what jersey you're wearing. I have my Aaron Donald jersey that I got for Christmas last year. This is a first-generation Los Angeles Rams <laughs> perspective on the game. Tribute to Ron Jaworski, quarterback for the Rams during the 70s. Yep, so like he just said, a quick pregame report from, what did you say, first-generation Los, first Los Angeles Rams First-generation Los Angeles Rams Okay, so um, first up, the the one thing that you're going to be looking at coming into a game against the Falcons and Rams both enter the game 0-1 on the season. And obviously, the Rams has a um, horrific showing against the Bills okay. at I'll, home last week. I'll share with you my L.A. Rams perspective, and I'll let you okay. talk about the Falcons. So the L.A. Rams perspective is the defense. Is Aaron Donald committed physically and mentally to another grinding season, especially after coming off the Super Bowl celebrations. Is Jalen Ramsey going to live up to his contract or continue to state that he's a, a stopper and then get lit up statistically <laughs> constantly by the number one offensive threat uh, for the opposition? And the last key for me is, is Safford healthy or not? Is mm -hmm. his arm the problem as to why he throws interceptions, or is it just like last year through as many intercept interceptions as Trevor Lawrence did from the Jaguars, right? As many interceptions, but the difference is the Rams won the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, so is Stafford just who he is, and the Rams had a lucky run through the playoffs to the World Championship? Because if they would have faced the Bills last year in the Super Bowl, I believe the Rams would have got their <laughs> behinds beat badly. Mm -hmm. Uh, so let's see, can, Stafford's going to have to improve his, his, his uh, performance though, or the Rams won't have a chance to serve, even making the playoffs. I like what you said about Jalen Ramsey because last week when he was up against Stephon Diggs, um, wide receiver for the Bills, he had all of the talk. It was a revenge game for Stephon Diggs because when Diggs got drafted, Jalen Ramsey had the audacity to say publicly that they thought that he shouldn't have been drafted as high as he was. So Stephon Diggs had his numbers and clearly showed that um, he won that battle. So for me on the, the Falcons side, a big key that I think if the Rams can shut down the big homecoming for college football, one of college football's top receivers last year, Drake London, who was drafted eighth overall in this uh, most recent draft, can the Rams, you know, slow him down. And we talked about the secondary, but um, I think he's going to have, potentially it's a situation where his family's here, his first time back in LA, um, put up numbers against the Rams. He, you know, he's has all the reason to do that. And you mentioned, you made the great connection, Dad, Marcus Mariota. Um, At 12, Oregon. And then Drake London coming from USC. There, um, it's the Pac-12 against the Rams today. in the morning. The trip is over and done. The Rams ended up winning, but it was in a fashion that doesn't necessarily make you excited for the future. Drake London was a non-factor, but the Rams defense um, and Stafford's interceptions were a factor.